before we worship our God, please turn with me uh, to Colossians chapter 1. We'll read a couple of verses. Dutti Adhyayamu, Padamudu, Padnalgo Vachnamu, Neno Chautanu, Daichesi, Gamanin Chandi. I'm reading from Colossians chapter 1, verse 13 and verse 14. He has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transformed us transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. In the same way, uh, turn with me to Colossians chapter 2, verse 13 and verse 14. Colossians chapter 2, verse 13 and verse 14. And you who were dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made alive together with him, having forgiven us all our trespasses, by cancelling the record of debt that stood against us with its legal demands, this he set aside, nailing it to the cross. So it's a, it's the highest occupation for a believer to worship God. So the greatest privilege for a believer is to know the will of God and do the will of God. And the highest occupation of a believer is to worship God. And today, it's such a joyous day for, uh, for all of us because we are going to see our dear ones, they are going to testify in the waters of baptism of what God did in their lives. So uh, it's, uh, it's such an honor and it's a privilege for all of us. So uh, if you see uh, Colossians chapter 1 verse 13, it says, He delivered us. This is what, you know, this loving God did for us. He delivered us from the clutches of sin. He delivered us from the bondage of sin. You know, once we were in sin, we were captured in sin and we were in, in that uh, sinful uh, nature and here is this wonderful God who reached out to us, who came down into this world and he paid the price on our behalf and delivered us from the bondage of sin. And not only that, you know, Paul says, uh, he not only delivered us, it all, he also says from the domain of darkness. You know, manalni. Devudu vatu nunchi manalni vidudala jesnaadu. So, this is what our dear ones uh, experienced. You know, God delivered them from the bondage of sin and from the darkness of, uh, of Satan and, uh, and God brought them into the light. So, that's the first point, you know, we're going to worship this evening. Thank you Lord for delivering me from the bondage of sin and also from the power of Satan or, or the authority uh, of Satan. You know, in Psalm 40, verse 2, Psalm is very... Uh, clearly, he says, uh, Psalm 40, verse 2. It says, He drew me up from the pit of destruction. So, I can nash nakaramayana gunta lo nundi. Ledu ante, e papa manna banisatvum lo nundi. Devudu vidupinch nadu. So, he delivered us. So, for that, this evening, you know, we'll prepare our hearts to worship. And secondly, if we see from Colossians chapter 1, Verse 13, he transfer, transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son, which means he moved us into his own kingdom. You know, once we were, you know, under the bondage of sin and uh, under the authority of Saturn, Maneka, you know, Stana Mantu Guda, it's different. But now, you know, he transferred us into the kingdom of light, into the kingdom of, of love. And that is what, uh, you know, uh, Paul is reminding us. And for that, he changed our position completely. So, Kapudu Papan ki Banisalam Manamu. Now you and I, we are the children of this living God. So he transferred us into, uh, into a new position. And uh, thirdly, in the same uh, chapter, Colossians chapter 1, verse 14, it says, In whom we have redemption, which means he paid the price. Today, you and I, we could receive this salvation. We didn't pay anything. The only thing that we did is when this loving God knocked our heart, we said, Lord, you please come into my heart. And he paid the price for our sins. On our behalf, he sent his only begotten son and he died on the cross for our sins. So, Lord Jesus Christ, he paid the price. And for that this evening, let us tell to God that, Lord, thank you for the great sacrifice that you did for me. And thank you for redeeming me from this sin. And thank you for the great assurance that you gave. So, uh, based on this, we'll, we'll prepare our hearts to worship. And finally, in the same passage, we see he has uh, the forgiveness of sins. He has forgiven us. You know, in this world, we see, we see when we ask forgiveness, people, they postpone, you know, they, uh, you don't deserve my forgiveness and uh, you are not worthy of this. These are the things that we hear. But, you know, remember the day when you asked forgiveness, when you confessed your sins, 
you know immediately right away this loving god embraced you received you and then he forgave all your sins and he threw them from east to west so he forgave our sins you know mana hrudayam anta aa paapapu bharamu tho you know our, our heart is filled with with that burden and when we came to this lord jesus christ you know he he gave us that peace he forgave all our sins ee lokamlo evaraina manalu kshaminchalante chaala sharathulu pedtharu you know chaala conditions petti manalli kshaminchadaniki chaala sharathulato untaru gaani but ee prema galigina devudu ee doika ee sayankalam devudu gnyapakam chestha unnadu be sharathuga elanti sharathulu lekuna without any conditions you know he forgave our sins and for that you know will uh, will prepare our uh, hearts to worship him, worship him so the first one is he delivered us he transferred us he changed our position now we are the children of this living god and the third one is he redeemed us we are once we were in 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 the clutches or in the bondage of sin he paid the price you and i we didn't pay anything so he freely gave this this salvation so he paid the price and he redeemed us and also he forgave all our sins etla devudu manalli kshaminchadu ante we'll read a couple of verses and then we'll we'll prepare our hearts to worship so first peter chapter uh, chapter 1 verse from 18 to 21 modati petru modati adhyayamu 18th vachanam nunchi 21st vachanam varaku first peter chapter 1 from verse 18 to 21 knowing that you were ran uh, knowing that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your forefathers not with perishable things such as silver or gold but with the precious blood of christ like that of a lamb without blemish or spot he was foreknown before the foundation of the world but was made manifest in the last times for the sake of you so we can clearly say see here that you know he redeemed us not with silver or gold or not with our money not with our authority or or not with the educational background or technology you know he redeemed us with his precious blood aine prashasthamaina raktamu dwara mana prati paapamuni kuda devudu kadugutu vachinadu so danni batti ee sayankalamu manam devunni aaradhinchataniki manam siddha padtam so ee yokka nalugu amshalu you know based on these four points uh, at this time we'll we'll take some time and then we'll worship god so first one is he delivered us from the bondage of sin from that uh, miry clay and he lifted us from that that pit and secondly he transformed he changed our position now you and i are the children of this living god we can call him abba father and and we can worship this god we can he is your god ayana neeku devudai unnadu so danni batti manam devunni aaradhisam moodo odiga he paid the price he redeemed us he paid the price he gave us this free gift of salvation and nalugu fourthly he forgave all our sins remember that day when you ask forgiveness you know this god you know immediately he forgave all your sins and vitini uh, batti based on this at this time uh, let us uh, worship god so ee uh, dinamo today we'll give the first opportunity to our dear ones who are going to witness in the waters of baptism uh, i request if you could uh, request you to please take the opportunity based on the word of god just say a few words lord thank you for dying on the cross for my sin thank you for delivering me from the bondage of sin thank you for delivering me thank you for redeeming me thank you lord for forgiving all my sins and thank you for giving me the peace joy and hope and i worship you god you know this small words you know it will please this loving god and uh, and i i encourage you know the ones who are going to witness in the waters of baptism take this opportunity at this time and uh, and worship the lord